it is the inability to excrete urine. The urine is accumulated within the urinary bladder. This condition is a common complaint during the first few days after labor. The causes of urinary retention, the first one, laxity or relaxation of the abdominal muscle. Then, reflex inhibition due to stitched perineum or damaged urethra. يعني إيه الكلام دوت؟ يعني نتيجة ال stitched perineum أو ال epidermis أو حتى ال damage of the urethra بيبقى فيه عندي بين فالبين دوت بيزود لي fear of the woman to be urinated. Also, the atrophy of the bladder muscles. Finally, the compression of the urethra by edema or hematoma that prevent leakage or the descent or flow of the urine. يعني إيه؟ يعني نتيجة ال compression of the urethra عن طبعا من ضمن ال changes اللي ممكن تحصل في عندي في the genital system بيبقى في عندي إديمة في the cervix بيبقى في في the vagina. فممكن ال إديمة تعمل لي compression على the urethra that prevent the the flow of the urine. فبالتالي تعمل لي urinary retention. The nursing management for urinary tension. The urine should be buzzed approximately 8 to 12 hours after delivery. If in the following measure should be attempted. The first one, prenatal care with warm water. The second, privacy and the reassurance of the woman. Then warm bed band to facilitate the voiding. Listening to the sound of running water. Also, hot water bottle over the symphysis pubis can relaxation of the muscles and provide evacuation of the bladder. If these measures failed, the catheterization should be performed using complete aseptic technique. The another minor discomfort during postpartum period is constipation. It is an abnormal, infrequent, and difficult evacuation of feces that is may occur during the first few days postpartum. The nursing management for constipation, including the healthy education according the following: increased diet that rich in roughage and fibers, increased fluid intake, also milk before bedtime. Either it is important to perform exercise. After 72 hours, a glycerin suppositories or mild laxative may be administered as doctor ordered. The another minor discomfort is engorged breast or breast engorgement. It is an accumulation of increased amount of milk in the breasts. This condition occurs frequently about the third day postpartum, especially in primary birth women. It is due to the lymphatic and venous engorgement, and it is relieved when the milk is come out. The causes of engorged breast: the first, inadequate or infrequent breastfeeding, also inhibited milk ejection. Reflex that is done by the suckling of the newborn for or of the navel of her or his mother. The signs and symptoms of engorged breast. Breasts are firm, heavy due to blocked ducts of the breast, swollen, tender, and hot as the temperature raised to 37.8 degrees centigrade. Pain may be presented lead, leading to irritability, insomnia. The mother may refuse to nurse the infant or lactating the infant. Now I speak about the nursing management of engorged breast. It is include apply moist warm bags to the involved breast from two to three minutes before each feeding. Also massage and the manual compression of milk to relieve areola engorgement before feeding is useful. Cold application after feeding to decrease the sense of pain. A wear well-fitting bra should be used to provide support and comfort for the engorged breast. Also, mild analgesic may be ordered in severe cases. Either administration of two doses of diuretics as laxative 40 mg is effective as ordered. The cracked nipple is another complaint or minor discomfort during the postpartum period. It is meaning the nipple tenderness and soreness and they are usually as a result of trauma and irritation. The fissured nipple occurred is in about half of the nursing mothers. The causes for cracked or fissured nipple. The first improper antenatal care, improper technique of breastfeeding or unnecessary prolonged lactation, flat or larger size nipple, also the use of irritant irritating substances such as soap or lotions, condition as candidiasis and contact dermatitis or inflammation of the skin, engorgement of the breast. 
regarding to the signs and symptoms of cracked or fissured nipple there are many signs such as irritation of the nipple persistent pain and tenderness bleeding from the nipple inflammation signs the nursing management for cracked or fissured nipple was proper technique for breastfeeding should be followed apply moist heat and massage before feeding from three to five minutes frequent short feeding air sun ex exposure avoid engorged breast avoid irritating materials use supportive bra mild analgesic and banthenol ointment may be used treatment of candidiasis and dermatitis the insufficient milk supply is another complaint and minor discomfort between the women during the postpartum period. There is a physiological variation in milk secretion and they are often perceived as a milk insufficiency between the women in this period. The nursing management for insufficient milk supply is Encourage the mother to follow frequent breastfeeding. Mother should drink more fluid. Avoid supplementary hours food. يعني معنى كده إن أنا بقلل ال ال الفيتز أو الأكل اللي أنا بديه أو الحاجات ال البديلة اللي هي بديها أو الأكل الخارجي اللي أنا بديه للطفل بحيث إن هو يجوع ويبتدي يرضع أكتر. The Mother should nurse or lactate in a relaxed position. Try to avoid distracting or upsetting situation while breastfeeding. بحيث إن هي ما تقومش وتقطع الرضاعة عن البيبي. ياخد وقته في الرضاعة. Breastfeed just as a baby wakes up before he can begin crying from the hunger. أول ما يقوم من النوم قبل ما يعيد من الجوع إن أنا إيه أبتدي أرضع. Have a warm or cold drinks each time the baby is breastfed. Now I'm explaining the another problem or minor discomfort which is leaking of the breast milk. That is the opposite of breast or milk engorgement. The women who have active ejection reflexes often find that the breast leak milk during the first few weeks after delivery. The nursing management. The mother should put a clean piece of gauze or cloth inside the bra to soak up the milk. Also, changing the clothes frequently and breast care frequently. The perineal discomfort, it is the most common problem or minor discomfort between the women in the postpartum period. It is usually occurred due to the presence of tear, laceration or episiotomy and the edema in the perineal area. The nursing management for perineal discomfort include frequent perineal care under aseptic technique that help in improving the healing process. Also use warm water in case of edema. The another nursing management for prenatal discomfort is the health education that includes the following: prenatal self-care, positioning that the lateral position with a pillow between the eye, it is a useful uh, diet that is rich in protein that promote proper healing for in, uh, for the episiotomy or in case of laceration. Uh, the sources of strains such as coughing, constipation, and crying heavy objects or heavy things should be avoided. Also, encourage pelvic floor muscle exercise to strengthen these muscles, avoid infection. Finally, the use of cotton underwear. صالحة أو إن هي فشلة. The clinical picture of postpartum blue. The woman complaining of over anxious about her baby. الأنا جدا على ابنها. Irritable, difficulty falling asleep or sleep for a long period. Tired, unable to cope with the needs of her baby. She feels a failure as a mother. هي شايفة إن هي نفسها أم فشلة. The nursing management and treatment for postpartum flu. Early detection and the initiation of treatment throughout the pregnancy and good antenatal care. 
report and the doctor if there is a signs of depression, mild sedation or antidepressant, initiation of counseling to decrease the fear of unknown, involvement of partner and the other close family member to increase the support from the others, mother support by healthy care team, put the mother with the same diagnosis in a contact with each other. إن أنا بعدها مع ناس تانيين عندهم نفس الإحساس أو نفس الفيلينج ويأخذوا من الإكسبرينس بتاعت بعض ويقولوا لها تعمل إيه. Women with disabilities may require additional emotional and practical support. Finally, I will tell you about the danger signs during postpartum period related to the baby. As we know before, the danger signs related to the woman during postpartum period. So the danger signs that affected the baby during this period is fever above 38 degrees centigrade, low body temperature below 35.5 degrees centigrade, fast breathing more than 60 breath per minute, severe diarrhea or constipation and colic, repeated vomiting, especially projectile vomiting, لو بيوت فوق بيرجع على مسافة بعيدة bleeding or offensive odor from the site of cord معنى كده ان في infection في umbilical cord او ممكن يكون convulsions هحل معاكم كام سؤال كده زي ما احنا متعودين في اخر المحاضرة بنحط كام سؤال كده مع بعض the first type of question gives the scientific terms the uterus begin to return to its pre-pregnant size after delivery it is called involution of the uterus the nurse should be instructed the postpartum woman to begin exercise that is strengthening the muscles of pelvic floor this is exercise is called cagel exercise the third question, intermittent, intermittent uterine contraction are normally occurring during the postpartum period and they are increasing during the breastfeeding. This is called after pain. Vaginal discharge immediately after birth that contain special epithelial cell decidua bacteria and may has vernix and amniotic fluid is called lochia. Complete the following statement. Read the scale is often used to assess an episiotomy for R for redness, E for edema, the another E ecomosis, D discharge, and the A for approximation. Approximation, which is mean the approximity of corp suture line. gap between suture. During the postpartum period, patient may be exhibit a slight elevation of temperature due to dehydration. During postpartum period, the body removes excess fluid accumulated during pregnancy by diaphoresis and diuresis. Involution, uh, involution mechanism of the uterus depend on the following process, autolysis and ischemia. The true and false question. The question number one, puberium refers to the 12 weeks period following the birth of the baby and liver of placenta and the membranes until the uterus is involuted. It is a false question. It refers to the first six weeks after birth of the baby. After being in breastfeeding, mothers are caused by the production of prolactin during feeding. It is a wrong answer because uh, caused by the production of oxytocin during feeding. Postpartum exercise will strengthen the pelvic floor and help to prevent uterine prolapse in later life. It is true answer. The blood pressure is usually increased over 140 by 90 during postpartum period. It is wrong answer. Thank you.